If a person walks at 14 km per hour instead of 10 km per hour, he would have walked 20 km more. What is the actual distance travelled by him? Well, we have speed and distance. And speed is directly proportional to distance because speed is equal to distance upon time. Now, at first, this person walks at 10 km per hour. So, the speed is 10 km per hour. Let us assume that the distance travelled when the speed is 10 km per hour is x. Now, next, you have been given that the person, if he walks at 14 km per hour, so the speed is 14 km per hour, he walks 20 km more. So, the distance is going to be x plus 20. And the time is same. Now, we have a ratio and that is directly proportional to other ratio, right? So, we can directly equate these ratios. What I have is 10 times x plus 20 is equals to x times 14. So, we have 10x plus 200 is equals to 14x. And therefore, 14x minus 10x is equals to 4x. So, 200 is equals to 4x. And therefore, x is equals to 50 kilometers. So, the answer is option A. The distance between two cities A and B is 330 kilometers. A train starts from A at 8 a.m. and travels towards B at 60 kilometers per hour. Another train starts from B at 9 a.m. and travels towards A at 75 kilometers per hour. At what time do they meet? So the distance between these two cities is given to us, which is 330 kilometers. Let us say that these two trains meet at this point. Now let us assume that the time taken for the train which starts from A to reach the meeting point be x hours. Now the train that starts from B starts one hour late because the train starting from A was starting at 8 a.m. and train B starts at 9 a.m. So it is one hour late. Hence the time taken by train to start from B and reach the meeting point will be x minus 1 hours. Now the total distance between A and B is 330 kilometers and which is equals to distance traveled by the first train from A to the meeting point plus the distance traveled by train B from B to the meeting point. So it will be distance traveled from A to the meeting point is speed into time, right? So speed is given to us. The train which starts from A travels towards B at 60 km per hour. So the, six, so the speed is 60 times the time is x plus the train B travels towards A at 75 km per hour. So 75 times the time is x minus 1. So x minus 1. Now you can solve this and get the time in which they meet. So 330 is equals to 60x plus 75x minus 75. So 330 plus 75 is equal to 405. And 60 plus 75 is equals to 135x. Therefore, x is equals to 405 divided by 135. And that is equals to 3. So, this means that the meeting point, if we take the reference of A, which starts from 8 a.m., is 3 hours after. So, 8 a.m. plus 3 hours will give you 11. So, 11 a.m. is the correct answer. The jogging track in a sports complex is 726 meters in circumference. Deepak and his wife start from the same point and walk in opposite directions at 4.5 km per hour and 3.75 km per hour respectively. In how many minutes will they meet for the first time? Now, let us assume that this is the jogging track and Deepak and his wife start from this point and they meet at another point here. So, the distance traveled by his wife is indicated by this green line and the distance traveled by Deepak is indicated by this pink line. Well, it is clear that both of them combined travel
travel 726 meters because his wife and Deepak go in opposite directions and then when they meet they are basically 726 meters apart because 726 is the circumference of this track. Now let us say that the time taken for them to meet is x hours and they have traveled 726 meters. Okay. Now Deepak's speed is 4.5 kilometers per hour. So in one hour Deepak would have traveled this much 4.5 kilometers in one hour. Similarly in one hour his wife would have traveled 3.75 kilometers because her speed is 3.75 kilometers per hour. Right. So which means that in one hour they are 3.75 plus 4.5 five kilometers apart in one hour. Now this is basically a direct proportion because distance is directly proportional to time. We can take the ratio and equate. Okay. Now 726 is in meters and this is in kilometers. So let us convert 726 in kilometers. So 726 meters in kilometers is 0 0.726 divided by 8.25 and that is equals to x by 1 and x will come out in hours. We want it in minutes. We'll do that later. So we have 726 by 8250 as x. So therefore x is equals to when you'll divide this you'll get 0 0.088 hours. Now you want this time in minutes. So you have 0 0.088 hours in order to convert this in minutes you'll have to multiply it by 60 because 1 hour is 60 minutes and that will come out as 5.28 minutes. So our answer is option B.